Hey guys, this is Tuhan Aditya from Lighthaven. Today we are going to go over a simple double stick hunting drill that you can do with your ranging footwork. Before you do this, it's important to be familiar with your ranging footwork. I'm going to leave a link to that video down below. Check that out, get familiar with that first and then come back to this drill. This drill can be done in a bunch of different ways with a bunch of different weapon systems. This specific drill is the one I like to do because I feel it gives you the most bang for your buck and um, it helps you develop those overarching principles which then can translate to whatever weapon system, double weapon systems um, you eventually decide to work on. The gunting means to scissor. We're looking at the scissoring motion, closing, opening, closing, opening, closing, opening. Two mistakes that I see a lot of people make. One is they forget where the edge is, so they'll do some like this it's almost like a retake or some sort of flapping motion it's important to remember where the edges so we say where these knuckles are that's where the edges generally lined up with so I'm looking to cut cut so cut as I close cut as I open cut as I close cut as I open cut as I close cut as I open it's important to remember where that edge is the other thing I see people do is they tend to go horizontal with this at least for the basic version of this drill, I want to go either diagonal with my sticks facing diagonal or vertical. So something like this. As opposed to this. When you start adding your footwork into this, it is important when we are doing our high guntings that we go, if I take a step with my left leg, then I want my right hand to be on top of my left hand. This way. If I take a step with my left leg, right hand, right hand on top of left hand. If I take a step with my right leg, left hand on top of right hand. So we want the opposite hand to the leg that's stepping out to be on top. Same when I'm stepping back. If I'm stepping back with my left leg, my right hand should be on top. Stepping back with my left leg. Um, if I'm stepping back with my right leg, my left hand should be on top. Same when I step to the side. If I step out with my right leg, the left hand should be on top. If I step out with my left leg, the right hand should be on top. I'm going to start with my sticks here. O close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open. And then my double step. The timing coordination for this is as I'm stepping, there's my close. As I'm coming back, that's when I'm opening. And it's going to be the same coordination with the double step. Another thing that you can avoid is the need to chamber. So oftentimes people come back to the shoulder here or the chamber super high up here. You don't really need that. You can start with the sticks from here, close. From here itself, turn the turn the wrist so that the blade is facing out. Open, close, open, close, open. I'm not chambering here, and I'm not chambering here either. Um, for this, you don't really need to. Especially when you start to apply it, you will find that if you are chambering, you're not going to be able to apply it effectively. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you learned from what you saw, if you liked what you saw. Please do like, comment and share this video. Please do subscribe to the channel. It does help out the school and channel a lot. And see you guys in the next video.